Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. I'm Pastor Pete with your word for the day and Happy New Year. As we move into 2024, one of the things that we have to start thinking about is taxes. Maybe you have to update your W-2. I don't know, but today's passage, Jesus is confronted with the need to pay taxes. Look at Matthew 17. I'm going to be reading uh, the whole story because I think it's really interesting. Starting in verse 24 of Matthew 17. When they came to Capernaum, the collectors of the two drachma tax went up to Peter and says, does your teacher not pay the tax? He said, yes. And when he came into the house, Jesus spoke to him first saying, what do you think, Simon? From whom do kings of the earth take toll or tax? From their sons or from others? And when he had said, from others, Jesus said to him, then the sons are free. However, not to give offense to them, go to the sea and cast a hook and take the first fish that comes up. And when you open its mouth, you will find a shekel. Take that and give it to them for me and for yourself. So this is talking about the temple tax. When the people of Israel were counted, when there was a census, they counted all of the men and everyone had to offer what was like a ransom for their life, which was a temple tax of about a half a shekel. That was the tax that was expected. And the people that come to confront Peter are saying, hey, doesn't your teacher pay that temple tax? And Simon's like, yeah, I guess he does. And when Simon and, and Jesus are talking about it, Jesus says, do you think I should have to pay this tax? Don't the sons of the king, don't they live tax free? And Peter says, yeah, they live tax free. Well, Jesus then decides to let Peter go and pay the tax because he doesn't want to cause offense. He, do, he doesn't want to offend these people that are doing their job and collecting the temple tax. So he sends Peter on an errand. Peter, go and fish. And the fish that you catch is going to have a coin in its mouth, a whole shekel. You can take that and you can pay the temple tax for myself and for yourself. So what do we learn from this miraculous thing that Jesus does, paying the temple tax with a coin from a fish's mouth? I think we learn a couple of things. One, Jesus submits so that he doesn't cause offense. You know, we live in a world that kind of takes pride in offending others sometimes. Um, I know that me, when I'm asked to do something that I don't really want to do or I don't think I should do, I would rather argue about it. But instead of arguing, Jesus just submits to it and he pays the tax even though he shouldn't have to as God's son. He has this humble servant's attitude. We can imitate that. The other thing that we see here is that God provides. God provided for Jesus and for Peter in this miraculous way. As you move into the new year, I don't know what need you might be feeling. I don't know what provision you might need from God. But let me encourage you to seek God for it. He provided for Jesus, he provided for Peter, and he has the power to provide for you as well. I hope this is encourages you as you move into the new year um, and as you think about tax season coming up. And have a wonderful day, Calvary.